Yo, what's up, freaks and geeks? Anyways, yeah. Anyways, so, um, welcome back to a brand new video. And today's topic is gonna be on a certain YouTuber by the name of SC Reviews. SC Reviews is basically this YouTuber who reviews movies, video games, and mostly he's been reviewing Star Wars, considering that he's made over 127 billion videos on Star Wars. But we're not gonna talk about his opinion on Star Wars, considering I don't care about his opinion on Star Wars. I like Star Wars, but I don't like it that much. I'm not like a hardcore Star Wars fan. I'm more of a Marvel and DC fan. Anyways, we're gonna get to this video right now, and if you guys check out my um, uh, worst YouTubers of the century video, you can see that I put SC reviews on. I think it was the I think it was the fifth YouTuber who I put on that list. But yeah, I he's pretty high up there. But the reason why I put him up there is, well, in this video, I'm going to tell you why I put him on that list. Okay, so this is basically going to be like a top, like, five reasons why this guy is not the pleasant and probably not the nicest guy on YouTube. Number one, the guy is absolutely delusional. Just like Andre Sedano's footsteps, this guy is going to go, if you even comment, you know, stuff like, oh, you suck. And he's gonna go f like he's gonna go off like a fire drill on you and be like, you know what? You think you're a cinema? Oh, you're gonna you think you're an expert at movies at 10 years old? He's just assuming that people who hate him are 10 years old, pal. I'm pretty sure people who don't like you are above the age of 20 or 30, pal. That's proof that you can't take simple criticism from anyone. Number two, I've already said this, but I have to go deeper into it. He cannot take any criticism from anyone. Like, if you try to, like, put some, like, truth into this guy, he's just gonna go full, like, like, a Godzilla on you. And then, if you even criticize him a little, he's gonna go full Keemstar on you and be like, you know what, you're a fake YouTuber. Your pathetic life. And if... If you ever comment stuff like that to me, I'm not really going to care. Number three. This is probably the most noticed. This is probably another one. He doesn't respect people's opinions. You see, if one of his videos for reacting to the Infinity War reaction trailer or whatever, where a bunch of YouTubers are reacting to Infinity War, he goes, uh, he goes, <laughs> these pathetic human beings, they think... Oh, they're, since they're overreacting to Infinity War, they're pathetic. Since they're overreacting to this movie, it's not like this. we've been waiting for this movie for like 10 years, so I'm just gonna go full rage mode on them and just be a complete jerk to them and be like, you know what? I think you're an idiot if you're overhyped for this movie. So yeah, that's, um, yeah. Number four. And I just talked about this in like the first like a minute in the video, but he um he talks way too much Star Wars stuff. If you go on to his channel, he's got like 127 billion videos on Star Wars. And uh, God, if his next video is on Star Wars, then I'm just gonna be completely done with this guy's YouTube channel. I mean, I'm starting to hate the guy a little bit. Like after when his um I think um. And plus, and yeah, when I first saw his, like, reading hate comments, uh, politely video, I kind of, you know, lost respect for the guy. I think he's a complete jerk, and I don't know why he can't take simple criticism. Oh, here we go. Number five, he insults actors and, and celebrities. And it was completely, and here's why, in his uh, Spider-Man Homecoming video, he just completely insults Tom Holland and just... Like, he says, like, he's the worst Spider-Man ever, and I can respect his opinion, but he just won't leave Tom Holland alone. He just, he gets upset about it. He goes, like, he's acting like if Tom Holland did something to him. Obviously, he didn't, but I don't even know why this guy was being so, like, like rude to him. I can understand if you don't like Tom Holland, but, pal... You don't need to go full rage mode on him and act like he's the worst person ever. I think you need to calm down a bit. So, yeah. If you ever come across this guy, don't try 
Because he's just going to use petty insults to you, and he's never going to stop. Even though he is going to stop, he's still going to insult you no matter what. If you leave, like, a tiny comment with a little bit of criticism about his channel, he's just going to be like, you know what, I don't like you. I hope you... He goes, I don't like you. I think you're a 10-year-old... Yeah, he, talk, he thinks that his quote-unquote haters are 10-year-old boys, which is completely, like... It's completely bogus, considering that I have um, people who don't like my YouTube channel, and they're in their 20s or 30s. I even have a 14-year-old, and he, he, he's pretty pathetic. If you go on to my, um, Arnold, my old channel, Arnold Shortman Jr., uh, you know, uh, Spider-Man, uh, there was this kid, this 14-year-old kid. He just left, like, insults on my videos every single video. I don't know why. His, I think his name was Baymax or something. Yeah, but anyways, I'll be probably making a video on that guy later. And if you ever see, I doubt he can. He's gonna see this video, um, cause um, I this guy, that guy probably doesn't even know this is my new YouTube channel. But anyways, like this video, subscribe, and um, I don't want you to send hate to SC reviews because I'm not that type of guy. Anyways, uh, like this video, put a thumbs up, and uh, put a thumbs down if you don't like this video for some reason. Um. Yeah, I, I will respect all people's opinions, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.